What's up everybody? How y'all doing today? I'm over here chilling with Houston watching Elmo's World. Just got done with that workout, baby. It was Armageddon today. Nothing but arm day. Had to get it in. I ain't gonna lie, my head, my mind feels a lot clearer. My mind, since I've been eating right and taking care of my body this, this since the beginning of this year, we about halfway through February, so it's about a month and a half I've been going long, going strong. And you know, I feel a lot better. My mind is clear. I got energy. At the first week of me not eating right, or eating normally, not eating like I normally eat, they have my energy down. That's not the ball that goes on there. You gotta find your baseball. Where's your baseball? The white one. Go get the other ball. Anyway, I'm feeling a lot better, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard. Today, I haven't even really ate nothing. I just had one of the protein shakes in the morning. After I work out, worked out, I had a green, uh, a green juice with kale, carrots, celery, and an apple. And right now, I'm drinking this Bay Infusion. Uh, it's about noon. When Kelly gets back, she's getting her nails did right now. If she get back from getting her nails done, we're gonna have lunch. And you know, usually by this time, I've been out of there, like really like irritable and hungry. And But I feel cool. I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad. I had my uh, coach on last week and we was discussing some things and I was going through it last week. And I, uh, some of y'all was uh, requesting we can get some more uh, videos with him. So I'm gonna see if I can get them on. Y'all gotta understand, I, I paid thousands of dollars for my coaching and I'm basically just giving it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving y'all the game for free. So when y'all hear him talking or y'all, you know what I'm saying? If y'all into trying to get fit and trying to get take care of y'all health, you know what I'm saying? Take notes when y'all hear him talking. I'm gonna try and see if I can get him on here so y'all can soak up some more of that game that he got. You know what I'm saying? And we're basically giving it to y'all for free. Don't take it for granted, man. You know what I'm saying? You only got one life to live. I got a whole bunch of kids, so I'm trying to stay fit and in shape. You know what I'm saying? I want to see my grandkids grow. But let me take care of this little boy right here, man. I'm going to get back with y'all. Doof. Luchi gang, Luchi gang. I am on my way to go get my nails done. Um, and I'm so excited because your girl finna go all out, okay? Valentine's is coming up, and I'm thinking I'm going to get something related to lucky if not his name on my nail on one of my nails so i'm so excited i don't know if i want red he likes like really really bright colors so i am debating of whether i want to do like a neon green or like a neon orange which is like so outside of my comfort zone but he loves those colors i'm more into like the nudes and naturals but since I'm doing my nail set to represent my love for him, <laughs> it sounds funny and dumb, but <clears throat> I just wanted to like to, you know, get my nails done and show him that I'm thinking about him. So he's taking care of Houston right now. So let's go. All right, so I just pulled up and I'm so excited. This is my girl, Naisha, and she's hey. about to hook me up i'm about to post her instagram name right here so y'all make sure y'all go show her some love follow her it's a new instagram page so you know what i'm saying we're trying to get it there 
So we're gonna see what she comes up with and then we're gonna show y'all the finished results. I'm so excited. Finishing results of my nail. I got lucky on this clear one. Let's show y'all the next hand. Ghetto fabulous. Hold up, baby. You know how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lucky was low key upset, you guys, that I took forever getting my nails done. It'd be like that, man, though. Man, she took three hours getting them nails done. I was trying to, I was like, man, okay, I know I'll be taking a long time when I go to the barber shop, but one hour went by, two hour went by, three hour went by, the third hour, I was like, hold on, man, let me check her iPhone location and make sure she, <laughs> where she's supposed to be. Uh, Play with me, little girl. <laughs> and then I came home and I showed him my nails and he was like, oh, I like them. <laughs> uh. It's raining out here. It's super, super cold. But it's okay. We got some errands to run. Well, huh? we gotta go. Houston's out of milk. So we gotta go get baby Houston some more milk. And we need to get some lunch. I was talking about going to Papa Do's and getting a Papa Do's Greek salad with some crab meat on top. But Kelly didn't want me to torture her by going to Papa Do's and. Only getting a salad? And only getting a salad. So we're yeah. not going there. We're gonna go ahead and maybe go to Salada or somewhere, Chipotle, get a quick little lunch salad. We're trying to stick to this healthy meal plan, you know what I'm saying? 2020, baby. Yeah, so maybe if we go to Chipotle, we could try um, a TikTok life hack that I saw. And then you're supposedly able to get your food for free at Chipotle if you tell the cashier, live by the pepper. Live by the pepper? Live by the pepper, should we try it? Y'all try it and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Y'all gonna have me up there looking crazy at the cash register talking about live by the pepper. And the reason why is because the logo for Chipotle has a pepper in the middle. Like it's like Chipotle and then it's like a pepper, a circle and then a pepper in the middle. So supposedly, according to TikTok life hacks, if you go up to the cashier, order will get your food at Chipotle Go to the cashier and tell them live by the pepper. They're supposed to give you your food for free. So is that what you want to do? Go to Chipotle or what? I don't know. That's you. Or a salad from Olive Garden. Just get the little salad from Olive Garden. But I can't have the bread. Just don't eat the bread. Just get a salad. <laughs> it is so hard now that I know that I can't have like all the bread and the papas and remember i was craving mashed potato this whole pregnancy and bread and just pasta. no the doctor said you could she didn't say that she said no the sugar stop on the, the like but she said carbs turn into sugar oh yeah yeah you're right about that so i'm kind of like ah i didn't got used to it i've been already i'm already on my second week so i'm kind of used to it already the first week was hell i ain't gonna lie I mean, I've been eating healthy with him too, but at the same time, it's just like, damn. And then when they tell you you can't have it, it's like you want it more. It's like everywhere you look, it's like, ah. Uh... Anyways, about to figure out what we're gonna eat. And then, you know. <laughs> and by the way, before I forget, a lot of people were commenting um, on our last video saying that y'all never get to see the houses or our potential houses because if you're new to this channel, just know that the Luchi gang is looking for a new house. So tomorrow, um, we're actually going to be able to go look at the house that we drove by yesterday 
and I'm so excited. The realtor actually hit us up later on yesterday and told us that we could do a walkthrough tomorrow. So I'm so excited. I'm super, super, super excited. So y'all stay tuned for that because we are gonna bring y'all along with us and y'all are gonna be able to see our puts. And we're gonna let y'all pick. Y'all 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 gonna pick. We're gonna look at like a we're gonna look at a few. So y'all can pick, y'all can help us pick our new spot. Yeah, help us pick sounds a lot better because I don't know about letting y'all pick. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to show y'all our potential houses because we have been looking for a while now. And it's kind of crunch time. If we are going to move, we have to move soon. We're trying to do it by the end of the school year so the kids don't got to change schools. And yeah, that's like a couple months away. So we got we to gotta get it done, man. This is my go-to spot right here for all my healthy needs and healthy essentials. Man, you're not gonna believe just what happened. Forgot my wallet. You ever went to a restaurant and forgot your wallet? Luckily, we didn't go up in Chipotle and order our food. We've been looking silly. And where's your wallet? Live by the pepper. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I actually took it out of the car when I got off at home to come get you and the baby. Oh man, I was going up in the Sprouts. And I saw some, I was already at the cash register. I had my little shrimp and asparagus, some frozen strawberries from a smoothie, some good organic cheese that I needed. And I realized I ain't have my wallet. What's up there looking crazy. I just really went in there to get Houston's milk. Ended up getting, had all kind of stuff at the counter. And I said, oh man, I ain't got my wallet. Everybody. Did you already take it out of the shopping cart and put it on? Everything was on the counter, yeah. Like, I was already time to pay. She was already <laughs> ringing it up, yeah. That's when I realized I didn't have my wallet. So, uh, and I didn't even really, I was like, oh, man, I forgot my wallet. And I just ran out. I didn't even tell her to hold her or nothing. Hopefully, they still got it right there when I get back. All right. Let me go get my wallet and go back there, get the food, and come back home so we could eat this scrimp. Got some scrimp and asparagus. All right, all right, all right. We back, grab Kelly Jean's handy wallet. I still don't know where mine is, but I ain't had time looking for it, but I saw hers. So, we headed back. I had to grab some Cheerios for Houston because he was tripping. You got your Cheerios? Yes. Yes. Are they good? Say thank you, Dad. Dad. They're delicious. Man, I'm hungry. Hungry, man. What time is it? 2.30. 2.30. Normally, though, I ain't gonna lie. Normally, right now, by 2.30, I would have had a headache. I would have been going through it. By, if I had ate a full meal by 2.30, yeah, I would have been tripping normally. But... It's not too bad. Like, I'm hungry, but I'm not, like... Not me. Freaking out hungry. I'm freaking out on that. I want hot spicy. I want a water burger with cheese. Uh, <laughs> I almost ate them Cheerios she just had in her hand. I can't eat that Cheerio right here. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting spooky out here, man. Did you wake up this morning and do your push-ups? Did you go run this morning? Did you do something to work towards your goal this morning? Or today? Did you do something to work towards your goal? Did you work on accomplishing your dream? Or did you work on accomplishing somebody else's dream today? What did you do? I'm on hot spicy. You want a hot and spicy, baby? You ain't gonna want no hot and spicy after I make you this shrimp and asparagus I got right here. Well, can I have it before? Nah, we ain't got time for all that. They're, they're waiting with my groceries right there. Well, you can buy the groceries and then come get Baby, them. I can't feed you that poison. McDonald's is poison. And I cannot feed, I love you, baby. You know what I'm saying? I can't feed you that poison no more. Ten minutes later. Hot spice again? That's it. Just one hot spice. Okay, one for you first. Don't play on me. <laughs> I'm letting you make it because you're pregnant. Feeding my unborn baby that poison. He low key kicked me whenever I was like, okay, I'm fine, I won't eat it. And the baby and then kicked he you? Just went, oh. I was like, ah, <laughs> it hurt. Oh. 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 Oh.
Do you have ketchup? Well, we still have to make one more stop. For what? The diapers. He got enough to get him. He don't have any right now? Man, I'm gonna go home and eat. I'm hungry. I'll get his pampers after I eat. This is what we got cooking for lunch. Good old shrimp, asparagus, and tomato. Yeah. I know the coach probably gonna be like, hey man, that ain't on the meal plan. But hey. <coughs> yeah, no. And so that's protein and asparagus and tomato. And I'm gonna make me some salad on the side with some lettuce and stuff, so. I should be good, know what I'm saying? It ain't no sugars. Everything's organic like the planet. We're going to be all right. All right, so Leah Leah just got home and hold on, hold on. say cheese to the crema. What's wrong with, what's wrong with her teeth? She used to already know what's happening. Come on, Leah, come on. You, you big girl. It didn't hurt last time. She, say cheese. Take a before and after. Before and after. So we just pulled her other tooth out this weekend, but this one happens to be loose, so we're about to pull it. Let me see. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep your head right there. Oh no, Leah. Oh no, Leah. Don't move back, Leah. You already know how this goes. I don't even hurt you. Oh, Leah. I don't know if I can do it with these long ass nuts. Oh, Hold on. Leah, you keep pushing back. I'm scared. Why? It never hurts. Come here. Why are you hiding? Come here. All right. Come on, Leah. Leah. Here we Close go. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Uh oh, Leah. Took it like a G, Leah, Leah. <laughs> Gold teeth like me? Uh. No. <laughs> Come on, give me one big smile. Hey, Leah, Leah. Your Valentine's card. Your Valentine's card? You ready for Valentine's? Mm -hmm. Let's get it together. I just finished helping Leah um, write out all her Valentine's cards. They're pretty cute. She's got some for the boys and for the girls. She was bugging me all morning. Telling me that we needed to get her Valentine's cards because Valentine's Day was almost here. Like if we didn't know. Gigi's over here in the living room making herself a sandwich. Let's go check it out. How was your test today? Okay. So Gigi had a what? Map test? A star test? It's a sim. A sim? What is that? It's not like... The real one? It's a practice one? Oh. Uh, practice drug test. And was it easy? Was it reading? Writing. Writing. Wow. So do you think you passed? Good job, Sprinkle Me. I, there was 24 multiple choice questions, and then there was like... I had to write, like, a page essay. An essay? Thank you, my ball. 
it was like one page though. It was like the front of a page. And we couldn't go outside the line. If we went outside the line, then... They took points off. You look so pretty. So she was complaining that she didn't like her hair this morning. She thinks she too grown to wear two pigtails. That's not what I said. But that's what it is, right? I, no, I don't like it. And why? <laughs> I don't like it. I love your hair like this. You're making that peanut butter look mighty good. It's delicious. So I'm pretty stuffed from our lunch. Um, and we still have to make dinner in a little bit for the kids. I might get hungry, but I might just want one of these PB&Js. Fun fact, I don't like jelly. Do you like jelly? Je Do you like jelly? Comment down below, let me know. If you don't like jelly, you're pretty weird. I don't like jelly. Anyways, Kingston came home. He read 10 pages of his book. Lucky has him reading the um, As a Man Thinketh. And um, that's like a rule. If you want to go play outside, you have to come read 10 pages of your book. Even if you don't want to go play, he makes him read at least 10 pages every day. So he came home, he read his 10 pages, and then he went outside to go play. He'd just be so ready to come home and go play with his friends. He's so obsessed with basketball right now, you guys, that um, he's all he talks about is basketball. Dribbling. Um, how he learned how to jump, how his coach did this. Like, he is obsessing over basketball, which is a good thing. Um, I'm actually so proud of him because he used to say he sucked at basketball and he didn't like basketball, and he's just became super, super good at it. So, yeah. So what do you think about Leah's new um, makeover or whatnot? <laughs> Her new look. <laughs> Don't be mean. I look stupid whenever I look like that too, Mom. <laughs> so are you saying she looks... No, she doesn't look stupid. Let's not use that word at all. Okay. Let's take that word out of your vocabulary. Okay. Completely. She looks funny. She there looks funny? Yeah. Very funny. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog here. Really appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. We have some content coming for y'all. Don't forget, tomorrow we're going to go look at houses. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh. <laughs> like he's like, hold on, you're ending the vlog without me? <laughs> I want to give a birthday shout out. Today. Happy birthday to my man, Benjamin Hernandez, turning 27 years old. And also his daughter, Emery Rose, whose birthday was yesterday. So happy birthday to the both of y'all. And I believe you got some more. I'm gonna hand this over to you, honey. Cause my arm hurts. All right, let me see this here. Let me see this here. I want to give a huge birthday shout out to Giovanni Mendez from the 254 Waco, Texas. Turning nine years old. Happy birthday. Also, another happy birthday shout out goes to Vanessa Lynn Rodriguez. Happy birthday, Vanessa. Another happy birthday shout out to Pedro Martinez. Happy birthday, homie. Elias Palacios, turning 41 years old from Houston, Texas. Happy birthday, homie. And I had a couple other ones, but some of y'all just, you know what I'm saying? They tell me, can you get my bo boyfriend a birthday shout out? He's a big fan. He knows all your music. Give him a shout out. But they don't even leave the name. How am I supposed to give him a shout out? Y'all don't even leave the name. You got to leave the name, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the name. I can't read y'all mind. So, yeah, y'all want a birthday shout out? Hit us up, but leave the person's name you want to give a shout out to. They making peanut butter sandwiches over here. That's how y'all feeling? I'm not even supposed to eat all this bread. Better eat some of that almond butter. Mm. They can't stick to the screw. I think this chicken's ready to be cooked. It's been thawed out. Let me get in here and whip up some chicken and broccoli for these people because they eat it unhealthy. You know what I'm saying? And I can't have that. I'm the head of the household and I got to lead by example. And we finna eat something healthy tonight. Thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned, Luciano TV.